Hi. The uh, question for this clip is, what is the transactional game that we find ourselves in, you know, every day? Uh, we go out to, you know, important customers, they have a big volume, and periodically they turn around and they say, gee, you know, times are tough, and I've got to do a little price checking, and, you know, you understand, and, gee, you know, I really like you and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, you know, here's last look, and if you, got, if you could just be a little bit more competitive, that would be good, or... You know, I might have to make some adjustments here. It's a veiled threat that you're going to lose the business. And uh, so in that moment of time, what do we do? And I think a lot of times, first of all, we sort of think, well, golly, all of our customers are, are pure price buyers. Uh, when in fact they're not. Most customers will do business with an array of distributors and, and kind of narrow it down to, you know, two or three distributors that seem to have the best total service value for them as best they can tell. A lot of it has to do with just, you know, having the right array of items that they need in stock and, and having pretty uh, hefty fill rates. So once they have a, a couple people, they then think, well, you know, to keep uh, outside salespeople on the hook, I've got to give them a certain amount of volume. Otherwise, they don't shop, they don't come around, and I can't play the game anymore. So uh, depending on how much volume they have to share, they may give 60% to one guy and 40 to another. Or if they're really big, they might do a sort of a 50-30-20 split and everybody's kind of on the hook. Uh, a lot of times customers will say, oh, you know, you're the man, you're a woman, you're, 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 you're getting the lion's share, you're my really number one supplier, even though that may not be the case. Um, when we push for a little more business, they go, well, no, I'm sorry, look, I've got, I've got, I, I, I can't put all my eggs in one basket, I've got to have at least a couple of you guys, if one of you don't have it, then the other one does. Uh, so they, they create, they call, so they, they sort of invoke the fair share rule and don't be greedy. And and this is a way they kind of control us. And so we're in this dynamic equilibrium and they're trying to sort of pound down our margin percent a little bit. And we're sort of trying to sneak it up. Whenever we have price increases, we try to sneak it along. Sometimes the company may make a good buy on the buy side and, and not pass that on and the landed cost and, and put in loads and things like that, which can upset the salespeople over time because they're, they're if, if they're on a commission, they're sort of in this game and feeling like they're being slighted. Um, so it's a bit of a dynamic war, if you will. Uh, and that's that's the game we play. And uh, distributors are guilty of playing the same game on the, on the buy side of their business. They uh, will have two or three redundant uh, commodity suppliers of, of big volume price sensitive stuff and they'll you know they'll shop for the right deal and play people off against the other for on a big contracts things like that um, and you have to ask yourself is is there a better sort of win-win way of doing business and of course in the bigger picture we know there is I mean we, we've all heard about read about uh, how Walmart pioneered continuous replenishment quick response and and we've read about how Toyota and people like that, you know, the auto companies, the big hub manufacturers have gone to tier one suppliers and said, all right, look, let's get married. I'm going to give you all the business, but in exchange for all the business, I want to get integrated and I want automated and I want to get all the different hidden cost elements out of the picture. Um, and I want everyday low prices because you're going to have everyday low cost of taking care of me, given the volume of the, of the relationship and so forth. So we know that, that, that kind of thinking is out there, um, and we just have to figure out how we, at our individual level, can turn more of these transactional games, with all their friction, into better win-win relationships for both partners. So uh, that's, that's what we'll, we'll be addressing soon. Thanks.